Excellence and community service. That's what Pride Magazine is set to spotlight with a day ball at the West in Charlotte this Saturday. The publication is the equivalent of the Queen City's Ebony Magazine. It highlights the successes and challenges in our community. This year's awards event will take on a special meaning celebrating 30 years of making a difference. Yes, uh, we do make a different statement every year, whether it's about um, race equity or whether it's about travel. Uh, this year, we just want people to understand the journey. Dee Dixon says it's been a long journey. She took over as CEO of Pride Magazine after she bought the African American Lifestyle publication from the Charlotte Observer in 2001, eight years after its first debut. In her words, it hasn't been easy. It's a calling. My, my steps have been ordered to do this. I didn't envision being a, a, an owner of a magazine growing up and never thought about it. In fact, I was very shocked when this opportunity, quote unquote, came upon me. But Dixon has made the most of it. We try to highlight the good, the bad, and sometimes the ugly as well, but in a positive way always. Using the magazine as a catalyst for change, telling stories about issues in the Charlotte area's black communities, written by black journalists, framed with a broader context to reveal how those stories matter to all communities. I believe that Pride magazine actually is about people first. It's about anybody. It's about issues that impact Everybody, whether you're black, white, green, or brown. How Dixon's completed the work over the years is a marvel to everyone who's closely observed. The staff is very, very small, teeny tiny. But it hasn't stopped Dixon from putting on amazing Pride Awards ceremonies where WCNC Charlotte has served as a longtime partner. The three awards presented this year will recognize worthy nonprofits, an outstanding tech business owner or leader, and an outstanding youth in the field of technology. And like years past, there will be a lot of fun sprinkled in, too. People will get some dancing there. They'll get um, some theater. Uh, so I, I think uh, you'll, people will get their money's worth if they, they come this year. But we just kind of want to celebrate. Again, this year's Day Ball happening at the West in Charlotte this Saturday, February 25th. The reception begins at 3.30 p.m. with dinner and the program at 4.30 for tickets, look under this story on WCNC.com or our mobile app.